Well, South Africa could face some tricky questions and conversations if the fourth wave, or rather when the fourth wave hits our shores. A new study suggesting growing divisions in the United States and the reason the vaccinated are blaming the unvaccinated for the crisis. Let's get some details. Reporter Michael Marillia joining me now. Hello, Michael. So we're talking about the USA. Most people have access to the jab, uh, but it seems the finger pointing has begun. Very much so, Sally. That's what you see in this poll by Axios Ipsos, which was conducted at the beginning of August, basically asking the vaccinated who they thought was responsible for the surge in COVID cases in the US. And then they asked the same question to the unvaccinated, and you get some very, very different responses. Let's take a quick look at those numbers, first of all, Sally, and we'll explore some of the uh, people or some of the factors that the vaccinated blamed for the surge in COVID infections. 33% listed the conservative media, pointing a finger at uh, news outlets like Fox News uh, for suggesting that COVID-19 wasn't a problem. It turns out it was. Speaking of conservatives, 36% of the vaccinated blaming the former president, Donald Trump, saying that he did very little to encourage people uh, to actually go out and get the jab. Uh, another factor, Sally, was, of course, the unvaccinated. And this is where it gets a little bit contentious. 79% of those people who got the jab now pointing fingers at those who didn't get the vaccination. So as you mentioned, a great vaccine divide seems to be developing in the U.S. As you mentioned, uh, a lot of the deaths that uh, we have seen over the last few weeks are possibly preventable uh, because people could have gotten the vaccine but chose not to. And I think really that's the issue. That's the big uh, piece of contention uh, that is creating this divide between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. Yeah, so the blame game, as you say, is uh, in full force that's the vaccinated. What are the unvaccinated saying? Yeah, well, let's take a look at that. The va unvaccinated, it seems, are blaming everybody else other than uh, themselves, Sally. So, and they seem to also be pointing a lot of fingers outside of the country. So uh, many of them saying uh, that U.S. travelers who've gone overseas are responsible. 23% in fact saying that American travelers have gone overseas and brought the virus back. They're, they reckon they're to blame. Uh, in terms of other factors, Sally, the media as well, but this time the unvaccinated are pointing fingers at the mainstream media rather than the conservative media. Uh, they say that uh, the likes of CNN, for instance, which is regarded as a liberal media, uh, are responsible for the uh, problem. In terms of foreign visitors, Sally, maybe a little bit of xenophobia here as well. Almost 40% of the unvaccinated are saying that foreign visitors brought the Delta variant into the United States, and that's what's causing the latest surge. As for themselves, Sally, would the unvaccinated blame themselves for the crisis? Very unlikely. In fact, just 10%, one out of 10, are acknowledging that perhaps the unvaccinated are responsible for the latest uh, crisis. Let's hope we don't get in a situation like this in South Africa. And of course, typical in both groups, the media is blamed. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I think it's actually very troubling because um, social media and the role that it's playing in spreading untruths about vaccinations, uh, inflating very small risks uh, through vaccinations and, and not looking at the reality of how safe vaccinations are is causing a lot of trouble already here yeah. in South Africa, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Sally. Uh, in fact, a study by NIDS Cram, uh, the Wave 4 and 5 study, which was conducted uh, a couple of months ago, suggested that a lot of people who initially believed that they wouldn't take the vaccine have changed their mind uh, in the space of around about two months but the experts saying that about 5 to 7% of South Africans are hardcore anti-vaxxers. They won't take the vaccine no matter what. So they say don't worry about appealing to that group. Rather focus on appealing to that group which has fluid views when it comes to the vaccine, who could actually change their mind and decide to get the jab. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, we can understand people who might be hesitant and concerned because it's all so new. The reality, it's backed up by years and years of vaccine science, but it's still a scary new virus. Um, but the anti-vaxxers, as you say, it's not based on anything factual, what they are saying and what they are feeling. It's um, based on 
people's opinion. Uh, so for me, you know, you look at the weight of scientific evidence, you look at the many doctors who were prepared to get the jabs in their own arms to be that experiment versus a couple of people who've got theories on the internet. But it is troubling how much influence they seem to have. Thank you very much uh, for telling us what might be ahead for us here in South Africa, Michael Morelia there.